today I'm going to be doing a stretching routine for gymnasts and even if you're not a gymnast you can still do the stretching routine because stretching is really good for your muscles and it just like feels like good after you stretch. This is sort of like a beginner stretching routine just because I'm no Anna McNulty. I don't know how to do like that scorpion thing when you go like that. If you're more advanced and more flexible, you can make some of the things like harder. Like say we're doing splits, you can do like over splits. And if we're doing bridge, you can do it like on your knees. You can kind of make it up as you go along. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. When I stretch, I like to start at the top of my body. So with like my neck and like my shoulders and stuff. And work, slowly work my way, way down to toes and feet and ankle and all that jazz. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to start off by just tilting your head over to one side until you feel the stretch. And then over to the other side and let's just hold it for a few seconds. Now we're just going to draw a rainbow from one side of our head to the other and we're going to repeat that a few times. Now let's stretch our shoulders. So the first stretch we're going to do is this one and the other side. And now we're just going to swing our arms forward and back a couple of times to stretch out like our shoulders. And the other side. So now we're going to do this stretch. I'm not really sure what it's called, but yeah. And let's do the other side. Next, try and push your arms as far back as you can, as you can see I'm doing right now. And for the last shoulder stretch, we're going to do like sort of the upside down version of that stretch. Time to stretch the back. The first stretch we're going to do is seal. So make sure to push your hips down and keep your shoulders like back and look up. Now slowly move into a sort of downward dog type thing on your knees and in this we're going to try and push our shoulders down to the floor and keep your like keep your chin facing up. Next we're going to do happy cat sad cat so this is happy cat and this is sad cat. Now we're going to do a bridge. And don't worry if you can't keep your like arms and legs straight because with practice that will like happen. Lastly, just rock your back out a couple of times. Now for the legs. First sit in a straddle shape and lean over to one side. Now slide forwards into Japana. If you want, you can keep your arms stretched out in front of you like this or touching each, each one of your legs. Now slide over to your other side and repeat the first stretch. Now we're going to go into a pike shape. And just go as far down as you can. Now do the same but with your toes flexed and sort of like try and push them up to the ceiling but also push your body down to the floor. And now we're going to do this stretch which is kind of like what they do in Irish dancing. So you're going to go over to the one side, it's like Japana but with one leg bent. Now switch sides over to the other leg and do the same. So the next stretch we're going to do is like a sort of ladybug, butterfly, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, now we're just going to flutter our wings as no one really says anymore. But yeah, still going to do it. And I just realised I forgot all about your, our wrists. So we're going to do this with our wrists. And now switch them over and do the same on the other side. 
and just give them a little shake. So to stretch splits, we're going to start off by doing a lunge. And then just sort of doing like a backwards sort of lunge. I'm not really sure what to call it. And this also kind of stretches your shoulders. So it's a good shoulder stretch as well as a good split stretch. And now we're going to do some side lunges for box splits. So hold one side for a bit. And then just switch over to the other side and hold the other side. If you want to push your leg like further back with your arm, you can because that stretches you more. So now we're going to do lunges on the other side of your leg, on the other leg. And a backwards lunge. So now go back to your right leg and go into splits as far down as you can. It's completely fine if you don't go all the, all the way down. And we're just going to hold this for a bit. And now turn your hips over to box splits, which I find quite hard, but yeah. If you're already flat in box splits, you can sit up, which makes it a bit harder. If you're not flat at all, instead of going your, on your elbows, you can go on your hands. And now over to the left side for the last like split stretch. So the last thing we're going to stretch is ankles. So grab one, one side of one foot and roll your ankle a couple of times. And now sort of like point your toe, but like just like with your hand and flex it like that. And now we're going to do the same for the other leg. So the last couple of stretches are also for your ankles. So you're basically going to go on your knees and sort of lift up. And this stretches your toes and it actually feels really good. Try it. Now we're going to stretch the Achilles by just sort of like pulsing like this. So I really hope you like this video and that you're going to use this stretching routine. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!